Getting notes are you've given the book out to your beta readers and they're coming back to you with their thoughts on it. In the movie world, in the TV world, you have a preview audience or you can show it to an audience and they give you cards back or you they have focus groups. What I'm talking about here is more a one-on-one -on -one, uh, sort of thing. It's very important to let people tell you what they think, but it's also very important for you to go yes or no to that. Take it in. There's a director writer named a Amy Holden Jones who wrote Tinistic Pizza and Indecent Proposal. And her rule of thumb is if I show up to five people and one person has a problem with something, I don't worry about it. If four yeah. of them do, then I worry about it. And that's true with your beta readers. If only one person doesn't like something about it and everybody else is fine with it, then I wouldn't worry about it. But there's also an etiquette to giving notes. I don't give notes unless I'm asked because I wasn't asked to do it. And, you know, sometimes you just want to just run up to somebody and say, here's the problem with your book. So there's a book that I read called Maximum Entertainment 2.0, which is designed for performers. And it has a million different tips on how to be a better performer. But it also has one whole section on getting and giving notes and the politics of doing it, how to do it politely. And a couple of them stuck out for me. If someone's asked you to give them notes on their book, I would immediately say, do it in private. Don't be standing at a cocktail party telling them what they should change. If you can do it in writing, because it's just easier to take that sort of thing in. If you're getting the notes, don't argue. There's no need to argue. Just take in the note. And also don't really do anything with the note for a couple of days or a week. Let it sit. Sometimes there's a tendency you get notes and you go, oh, I got to go into the document right now and make that change. Unless you're on some sort of weird time schedule, I would say hold off on that because you might get other contradictory notes or you might get a better idea of what the note really is addressing. Because a lot of times the note is addressing a problem, but it's not that specific point in the, it's something earlier that it's really addressing. And you need to think about that. So while you want your note giver to be as specific as possible, you as the person who's getting the notes can realize the problem they're talking about is not really there. It's earlier.